Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a relaxing fennel and chamomile infusion. Very nice indeed. So this is the Second Chances DLC and accompanying patch called The Pan and it is about, among other things, reform. Now before we get into the video, I wanted to state right at the start and for the sake of full disclosure that this is a sponsored video. Paradox reached out and was interested in a collaboration on this one and I was happy to accept with the understanding that I still maintain editorial control. I'm able to share my thoughts, feelings and opinions freely and everything is 100% transparent and all parties agreed so here we are so like we've done with previous DLCs I want to go through and explain what's been added and changed with the patch and DLC as well as what it means with the existing prisons and perhaps future builds and series as well it's not going to be necessarily an exhaustive list but I think a fair representation of what you can expect with the new content either way let's go ahead and go to create new prison and you can see straight away we can now select the prisoner uniform color so we've got gray pink, brown, green, lovely. What else have we got? Uh, we can go for blue, sky blue, salmon, brilliant. Uh, what else have we got? We've also got, well, we, we, we have, honestly, the ability to put a death row inmate in a lime or hot pink uniform. So, I mean, that's a good addition, surely. Sadly, there is no avocado, so we can't make, the, make them look like an 80s bathroom that's been put in by the council, so a bit of a mark against the game there. Sadly, no additional wardens or dogs, but uh, there you are. We've also got now the ability to change funds, however, so we normally start with 30,000 generic units of currency. However, you can now change that ranging from zero up to half a million, so if you want an additional challenge, you've got the zero there. If you want to, say, remove that option entirely and remove the challenge of the funds, then you can go to half a million or I guess the other option is you want to plan meticulously off a huge build and then press the go button and watch it build with all of that money so at least you now have the option to do that more options are more better unlimited funds and bureaucracy research and I'm gonna click play to show you some of the new stuff and apparently the phone is ringing there I think it does that if the warden calls while on the uh, screen in the background there anyway over to our staff and I'm gonna hire a warden a chief a foreman a psychologist a psychiatrist an accountant and then a lawyer because that now gives us all of the building options and specifically quick build down to the bottom and we now have three new buildings the meeting room the restaurant and the bakery and we'll touch on those in a moment so like in the previous dlc going green we now have a new tab says about a second chances on the top left here and this lists all of the new stuff and it serves as a half tutorial sort of half wiki type of thing nice beverage which I found personally quite useful so I'm not going to go down it all meticulously and read it out because that would be a bit boring but I will read a couple of them and touch on uh, all of these and show you some of the new buildings well all the new buildings as well as things like the reform tab and things like prisoner wages and yeah there's quite a bit here so first things first work experience it says prisoners will now have work experience recorded this can help them in reforming into model citizens and also aid them in the prison for example after gaining experience in a specific field prisoners will perform jobs associated with that field of work more efficiently than they would previously prisoners with 50% in cooking craftsmanship or customer service etc can work in any related jobs without completing the associated training so not only are they better in that job the more experience they have in that job which makes perfect sense but also if for example they have experience and they are working in the in prison kitchen and they get to 50%, they can then do other cooking jobs, like for example, in these two buildings here, which is the bakery and also the, I keep forgetting the name, the restaurant as well. I keep on calling it the cafe, but it's the bakery and the restaurant. How to gain work experience, it's fairly self-explanatory. You either train it, you work it, or, quite interestingly, pre-existing work credentials. Prisoners up to the maximum security level can possess work experience due to their previous occupations. So, yeah, that's a quite nice thing, nice little detail. So someone might come in as previously a chef and have experience already in that field. Pretty good. New rooms. We have compatible inmates. Inmates that possess the required experience in customer service or cooking will be able to work in either the bakery or the restaurant. The required experience level is 50%. I've touched on that on the previous one, but yes, if they got 50% in that, they can then work in the customer facing bit. Uh, managing the rooms we can now do by a uh, labor management although i can't do that at the moment because these buildings are 
not built, but we'll get onto that later on. And we also have the restaurant as well, customer satisfaction. So the number of customers that arrive is based on the prior group satisfaction. Customers who don't get served will have a low satisfaction, low quality meals with medium level satisfaction, etc. So the better we do, the more customers we're going to get. So we have, um, we are already starting to see more civilian interaction so they're going to turn up and meet with the prisoners which will hopefully be a positive experience for both parties we now have some new programs the three strikes program how the program works invites civilians on their final warning with the law into the prison to learn directly from the inmates about the realities of prison life you have to do a training program before you run it but once you do that they'll get um they'll get bonuses to their to their reform so it says here uh, it says a small boost to their reoffending rate and increase in their work experience in addition inmates will also see a reduction in their boiling point a bonus to their family and or freedom needs as well so reduction in boiling point is pretty good in fact that might even be new although not 100 percent on that but it means that you can bring these people in and say look this is the reality of prison please obey the law sort of thing and it's like a scared straight affair almost so that's going to be pretty good it also means that these buildings will most likely have to be more towards the entrance so we've already got a couple more buildings and and uh schemes here schemes uh, programs, <laughs> um, yeah, that requires you to have more civilians on site, so that's going to be quite interesting as well. New behavioural programs, animal therapy, conflict resolution, and my favourite, former prisoner consultation. So animal therapy, fairly fairly uh, open, I think, fairly um, readable. Uh, you have animal therapy. Animals come in and they can um, have that program. It says you get a reduction in reoffending rate, reduction in boiling point, a small boost to comfort, freedom, and luxury needs, which hopefully if you run those programs, stop them nicking things, well, specifically luxuries in the prison. So that should be uh, hopefully a nice little mitigator against that. And also, and this is a really good bonus, having a chance of removing any negative reputations the inmates may currently have. Any negative reputations. So, I don't know what that chance is, but just having the opportunity and the chance to remove negative stuff is a big, big bonus. Now, as you may expect, it is quite expensive to run. 350, I believe, if I go down. Animal therapy, 350 generic units of currency a session. 20 places, though, so that's pretty good. So it's a group session and it's five sessions. So it's quite expensive, but having the ability to remove traits and to give them luxury bonuses is pretty good conflict resolution needs fairly simple don't hit that person over there there you go that's uh, the summary of that one uh, <laughs> reduction in boiling point as well as a chance of removing violence based reputation so not all um uh, negative ne reputation just violence based ones so if someone is deadly perhaps uh, telling them not to be deadly they will stop being deadly Good. Uh, former prisoner consultation. This is really interesting to me. Prisoners, former prisoners, who have successfully reformed upon leaving prison are invited back to guest speak to the currently incarcerated. Prisoners have a greater appreciation when words are delivered from one of their own and are more willing to be open and share their thoughts with a teacher that has been in the same situation. So, once someone has reformed your prison and left... They can be invited back to talk to the currently incarcerated, your current prisoners, and they will say, "Look, uh, it's it's much better out there. It's it, it, you know, it, it's it's oh yeah, you, you can get your own carpet and walk the dog, and you know, <laughs> insert a million other things you can do outside of prison rather than in." And yeah, that's pretty good. That also says successful completion, reduction in their overall reoffending rate, improve or reduce specific needs such as family freedom and safety, as well as chance of removing any negative behavioural reputation. So you can see already we've got a lot of ways to remove negative traits. So all about that reform. Uh, sentences, uh, reductions and extensions. This was an interesting one. So if we go over to our prisoners and sentence adjustments, you can toggle this on or off. So again, if you don't want to do this, you can turn it off. I always like the option to have it. Not having the option and wanting it is worse than having the option and turning it off. Set the criteria for adjusting a prisoner's sentence, whether it's reduction for good behaviour or extended for poor behaviour. 
So, for example, if we have extension value, say, two years, you can only go up to two years, um, you've got this criteria here. So there's your misconduct. Criteria to meet is currently three. So if they do any of these three, they get two years added to their sentence. Attacked staff eight times. That seems quite high, but it all depends on the type of prison you want, the type of prison you want to run, what you have in terms of facilities, and mainly, I guess, the type of prisoner that you have. So if you have a very, very high-risk facility and you want to keep people there, for whatever reason you can just put all these really low similarly if you want to reward good behavior you can say look reduction rate put that into say uh, two years and actually you know what good behavior day without incident five days programs past five you know what you only need one of those to get two years reduced off your sentence this will cap though at every seven days so they can't say um you can't say have <laughs> days without incident one they get two years reduced then the next day another two years it caps it um it, it basically it stops every seven days, so there you are. But you can have positive and negative, so they can punch a staff member and then uh, pass a program, and it will cancel itself out if you've got the same level of extension and reduction. So there you are. So a nice little, nice little bonus there. As I said, if you don't want it, you can turn it off. I don't know how much of this I'll be personally using, but the fun will be in the finding out. We have re released prisoners as well. Rewards and punishments for reforming and reoffending. So we've in previous games we've had a three grand bonus for them leaving and not reoffending. It says now release prisoners will either have a start a new life or fall back to old habits and return to prison. For every prisoner that successfully reforms a cash bonus is paid which we had previously without three grand as I mentioned. For every prisoner that reoffends and returns the returns to the prison it says not a prison to the prison so we'll get uh, an alert to see who's coming in hopefully uh, a fine will be issued for their failed rehabilitation returning prisoners freed prisoners who reoffend and are returned to the prison may pick up additional bad habits whilst outside prisoners could return either additional uh, reputations or with an upgrade to it for example strong going to extremely strong these prisoners can be spotted with an icon above the head and also be found with notifications within the released prisoners menu which is in here released prisoners so once an inmate has been released from your prison you'll be able to notify them their subsequent actions depending on whether they're refended or reformed successfully and found work and you'll get be fined or bonus on that so yeah we can see prisoners leave hopefully Hopefully we'll never see them again. That's that, and I don't say that in like a Godfather way. <laughs> I'd say like hopefully we we'll never see them again. They go back not to a life of crime, but you know, as a as a model citizen, a productive member of um, society that doesn't steal cars and smash them over a viaduct. Um, other criminal activities also available either way. Um, we don't want them back here, but if they do come back, we'll be able to see them, what they've got, and hopefully will get those traits and it'll be an interesting experience hopefully seeing people come back if nothing else like oh i remember you you're the person that did xyz in the prison i can sort of understand why you're here and then hopefully we can then give them a second chance we've been given a second chance to give them some more reform so hopefully that's then on us um so we've done about we've talked about that one we've also got prison uh, labor and wages that is in finance and prisoner wages and you can see the current wage which is just by default 100% that can go up to 400% if my memory serves it does serve don't know why it serves normally it doesn't but it does do that and then you can put it down to 50% Wow, not making a liar of myself. That's a first. So there you go. So you can up the wages and you can do it manually as well for each one. So you can say pay people in the workshop really well in the kitchen. And it has everything from the kitchen, workshop, laundry, which was in the game very early on, up to things like the bakery and restaurant, which is the new stuff, and the farming things as well. And you also have a prisoner grant bonus, benefits of low reoffending rates. Basically, you're going to get more money if their reoffending re re rates are low. So you have an incentive to reform the prisoners which i always thought was the objective anyway so it's good to have that so overall pretty good there and i will touch on the logistics here and the labor management now that this is in you can right click on these and this is your label uh, labor management for a restaurant and you can see the type of regime when the um, customers will be able to arrive so this is customers all right so you can say look it's only work slash free time or in free time or lock up etc and then you can uh, see the work slash free time and free time it shows you the time when this is where customers will arrive highest security level so if you don't want supermax working there you can say reduce that to minimum security etc um or maximum to minimum and you can also assign guards there as well and change the meal quantity high slow low fast 
high, slow, low, fast. Yeah, so you can have fast food or just good quality. And same thing for down here. This is the bakery where you don't, you don't actually have that option. But there you go. So this is a bit of a strange one because it's got options for like we have previously like just set up the the different sectors like that and yes i should point out that the sectors um we got these prisoners here one of the things i was desperately hoping wasn't the case was although we've changed the uniform colors will the sector colors change and if they didn't that would be a massive negative but i can confirm it does change it so medium sec is the uh, purple death row is the hot pink and yeah yeah everything in between that's actually a peach rather than a purple there and yeah you can change that and get the colors as I was saying, though, for for these two, when you've got your logistics and labor management, you can change the type of prisoner that can work there, but it's similar to previously where you can either set it to a particular sector or if you wanted to uh, say minimum and medium, you can do it that way. So there's multiple ways of doing it. Um, I don't know how it's all going to gel together. I, I hope it works well, but we'll see how that one goes. But you can use the custom sectors or use the logistics labor management there as well. And here is our prisoners. So we've got these in the salmon and in the green as well so there's all the prisoners so you can it's just you've got more options to change the colors i don't see any problem with that if you don't want it you can just not use it i would see it's more of a aesthetic thing an aesthetic choice which you know if you were going to say make a very sci-fi type prison you can change the uniforms to sort of match that as well or have a high contrast which is pretty good as well all right so that's that um i don't think there's much more to really cover here i've mentioned adjust sentences i've mentioned the yeah you can see also in regime this does alter the color there as well just to confirm uh, policy, nothing changed in there as far as I can tell. Uh, grants, uh, you've got some more grants like the bakery production skills and things like that, and restaurant service skills. So it's all about the, the new stuff there. And you've got new programs as well. So you've got things like the um, animal therapy that I've mentioned, conflict resolution, the three strikes training and three strikes program. Uh, that's for bringing people from the outside who are on the last warning. And then the reform prisoner consultation, which is so far my mo the one I'm most interested in. There's reform as well, but I can't really show you that without going on to a save, which I'll do. I mentioned prisoner wages and also valuation. We will have in here a, uh, a bonus for our for, for lowering the reoffending rate. But what I want to do now is load up a previous save. Specifically, it's the final save from the Going Green series and show you some of the new stats that are in there. So we'll do that now. Okay, so this is the final save from our Going Green uh, DLC prison, and it's overall quite good. I mean, the danger level's high and everybody keeps fighting, but that's... that's oh wait, it's, it's not great. No, danger level's high and there's loads of contraband. That's the main problem with this facility, but to be fair, there's trowels everywhere. So, let's have a quick look at our reform. We now have uh, no release prisoners because... You know, you can load up and retrofit all prisons, but it's going to take a while for that information to come through. But in your reformation here, you can see lower the reoffending chance, the greater likelihood prisoners have will to succeed in the reform. You can see your punishment level, the reform grade, the work experience grade, which is currently zero. Again, that's probably not zero. It's just because it takes time to build up. Um, but that will, you know, be better when you start a new prison. Your security grade and the health grade, which if you get above zero, I think you're doing fairly well. Uh, you've got the average reoffending rate, which is 22%. Pretty good. It shows you the parole cutoff for all of these prisoners. So we got 79 down to 2% and 38 down to 2% and you can mouse over and it takes you there and also gives you the readout as well. So prisoner Gaskin here who's got a an estimated reoffending rate of 2%. It says positive is 12% for age, uh, the grading for their punishment is minus 50%, reform grading minus 15, known traits minus 10, convictions plus 40, family minus 8, and reform grading plus 4. And then obviously there's things like initial reoffending rate and current reoffending rate, etc. So it gives you a little bit more information. Remember, if you can't if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. Whereas now we can look at it and say, well, actually, look, the the the, the punishment grading is pathetic we need to increase that to get that, that reoffending rate down and now we can look at this and the family say minus eight maybe if we get more visitation just do you know now we have the option and the statistics there to be able to see what we may need to alter 
to uh, get these back. Like, for example, Lacey here, they're on plus 10 because of Volatile, plus 70% because of age. How old are they, Andrew Lacey? Age 30. So if they're older, does that mean they, they are... Oh, I don't know. Maybe if they're older, they are more likely to reoffend. Curious. What's that guy on? 50%. 70. Okay. Fair enough. But yes, we have now all of the numbers there, and we can see what we need to alter it. So, like, reform grading minus 15. We probably need to make sure that this guy gets more... Not more punishment, but certainly more... Um, actually, yeah, I think that exactly. I think that's what it does mean. Um, yeah, do more reform. It's not punishment, rather more reform. Speaking of reform, like I said you can run different programs. So I'm going to go down, and I can't show you the animal therapy because I don't have one of those buildings. But we've mentioned what it does, and we can see that um, in perhaps a future series. Hint, hint. Uh, we've got conflict resolution and three strikes program. I'm going to do the three strikes training and also the reform prisoner consultation because that's really interesting. Um, it does say no room for the reform prisoner consultation, but we can very much fix that by going to rooms down at the bottom and changing that to a meeting room. In fact, actually, that does mean we can run. Hang on. Can we run the animal therapy? Animal, animal therapy start. Yes, we can. Okay. Let's uh, reschedule all programs, speed up to max speed, get it through the night and see some of this new stuff. When we click on a prisoner as well, we now get uh, another tab here. Well, I'm going to go through them all to see if there's any change, but I don't think there is until the bottom two. Yeah, so grading there, you now have work experience. Once again, as I mentioned, that will go up uh, the more they work and stuff, but it's just because this is a, a previous save that's been retrofitted and obviously reoffending rate there as well. And we can see all the statistics on that. So decrease harsh slash strong punishment, decrease su uh, successful reform programs, increase for poor health and security, increase untreated drug and alcohol addictions. And it shows you all of the like positives and negatives and why it's giving us that uh, 3% and estimated on arrival 33. So we've reduced it by 30%, which I think is reasonable. And that's a tunnel. That means that this save here, which has only run for about maybe 12 to 24 hours from the last save, had a tunnel digging going from about there to here. Curious. Okay, we got another tab, which is work and training, and it shows you their work experience. In this particular case, we've got one, two, three, four, five categories of work. Cooking, cleaning, craftsmanship, labouring, and customer service, and also their programmes as well. And also dog savaging Tim Newell, this legendary prisoner who has got no work experience because their main form of work is being face down in the tiles. So Ed Green here has got 11 in labouring. Uh, we've got this person here. We've got 14% in labouring. This being a, well, <laughs> facility all about growing stuff, we're probably going to have a lot of labouring. 17% mm, craftsmen, so they're probably working in the workshop i would assume perhaps wrongly and i'm just trying to see if there's anyone that's getting that's gonna actually pass them they're all they're also incomplete i i assure you we have run some training here um it doesn't look like we have but i'm very confident that some of them will have passed although finding it might take us until the end of the next ice age I'll just unpause it and let it crack on. Do you know what's better? We actually wait and see who's working in, say, the workshop. Uh, we should probably check, actually, when our when our stuff's going to run. We've got... Down here. Flower therapy. That's still in. Animal. Between 12 and 2. Oh, and reformed prisoner consultation. Let's have a look, then. There they are. There's a previous prisoner. Larry Lawton, age 61, author, TV personality, speaker, teen slash young adult mentor, and law enforcement consultant. Larry's dual heist placed him on the FBI's most wanted list before he was arrested in 1996. I don't know whether there's pre-written ones or ones that um, can leave your prison and come back. It will be fun in finding that one out. But as you can see, they are running this thing. So they are doing the reformed prisoner consultation only one person's turned up but at least they are now running uh, that thing so reform prisoner consultation no success chance he's just turned up so there you are 
So pretty good indeed. So that's all right. I want to see. Oh, there you go. Fine. We found one. Uh, we've got workshop safety induction completed. And they have clean experience, 6%. Craftsmanship, 3%. Like I say, once you get to 50% on these, they can then work in other areas. Now, I think there's only really cleaning. You know, you pass cleaning. You, there's no other cleaning jobs. So I can't imagine what else you would do. Although cleaning and... Well, cleaning and laundry, I'm guessing, come under cleaning. Um, but... You don't need training for either. So having 50% doesn't necessarily mean... Well, it doesn't mean that you uh, can move to somewhere else because there might not be somewhere else to move. But having a higher work experience means just working better. So pretty good. Hang on, there's ice there. This is uh, Apex Soviet ice who is incomplete on there. So they're probably going through that training, I would imagine. Yes, solar panel development. There you are. So they're gaining that experience. So all of this is hopefully pushing them towards a... It's hopefully these are all positive things. So giving them more education, more work, more experience, more reform, more positive traits. And obviously you can do, for example... Uh, are we running this program now? You could say go for, I don't know, finance, prison, wage, and just pay them. Like, just pay them loads in the laundry so everybody wants to work in the laundry. That doesn't necessarily send the right signals of I'm going to give you money for not breaking the law but at the same time couple that with programs could work out I mean if you want to run with just paying them loads of money and doing it that way then you do you that's the whole point you have these options now uh, over to programs I want to find out when our animal therapy is 12 till 2 and it's three o'clock. Darn it, we've missed it. We've missed it. Well, it'll be rude not to go through to the next one. Uh, three strikes training. Uh, we are running that. Uh, where does that run? Six till eight. And that'll be run in, I'm guessing, in here. There's foundation education program on the go. Three strikes training is run in the classroom by the psychologist. And there you go. So they're doing three strikes training. What's they have Apparently, no, they're teaching two courses. <laughs> no, that's just a bit of a bit of a cross wires there so these are now running the three strikes training program as you can see that's going up there and once they've done that why is wills smashing up everything i have no idea although he's going to pass the pharmacological treatment to drug addiction two percent reoffending rate okay things are just getting worse and worse what's going on here right when in doubt Hi, more guards. Um, how on earth is that gone on fire? <laughs> I mean, I know how it's gone on fire. Someone set it on fire. Well, I was going to show you the animal therapy, but I'm not entirely sure a dog is wanting to come within 500 yards of that, that blaze. So, that's been a bit of the second, ch <laughs> second chances. Um, I don't think it's... Un yeah, the, the CEO is calling. Um, this is very strange. Hmm, emergent behaviour. Can't beat it. Shame, really. Anyway, that's been a bit of the second chances. Uh, going through, I think, the majority of the things that have been introduced with second chances and the pan patch. This is uh, the criminal negligence on the go there. Don't think there's any change to that, but we're probably going to find out in a moment. But yes, overall, first impressions are very, very good. Certainly prefer it over the previous DLC, um, Going Green, although I did find Going Green Going Green? Going Green quite interesting. I didn't think it was... Uh, entirely on brand whereas this is very much something i've been wanting for quite some time we've done a lot of reform prisons um on work and programs etc but these ones directly affect their reoffending rate in a more in a more um well in a more direct manner it, it's it's something that you can now run all of these programs and make sure that their good behavior is rewarded and then that reflects in their reoffending rate similarly all the other systems that are connected to that are a lot more um, visible as well so overall first impressions are good i really like the addition of it sounds bad of the prisoners coming back uh, if they've reoffended i don't want that i much prefer them to leave and you know live a productive life but coming back and seeing that is i think it's quite interesting and also having prisoners that leave and have uh, not uh, haven't um, reoffended, should I say, having those come back and talking to other prisoners to say, look, don't do this, you know, don't do the bad stuff, do all the good stuff, etc. 
<laughs> bit of a generalization there but you know what i mean uh, that's really interesting and also we've got now a, a much bigger sort of customer uh, or uh, civilian facing a civilian facing thing as well so what does that mean for previous builds well we've mentioned it it seems to retrofit quite nicely and hopefully will be reflected there what does it mean for future ones well you can go down very much the reform stuff you can focus on that you can uh, go for the sentence adjustments and get that really harsh as well so you know if they if they do any of these you say right another two years on your sentence sorry just how it is um it also means that yeah it, it, that'll filter into the cleared for transfer stuff as well but obviously we're starting again to very multiple layers deep at this point so i want to really keep focusing on uh on the second chances stuff but overall like what i see and hopefully it gives us a lot more options we've got a couple more grants in there as well and for future series well i'm very much wanting to make a prison that is got a form factor like this where this is our say wall around the outside there's your little safety gap and then this is for civilians civilians come in naturally you'll still have a little bit of a double skin around this you know not nothing too major but civilians will come in and then all of this side will be civilian facing so visitation your meeting room the restaurant and the bakery and all of that will go at the front where this is sort of minimum security it's not an open prison but it is more lenient shall we say and this is where everything everyone will meet and then hopefully we can go through as i said all of those reforms getting those sentences reduced and then we'll be able to finally see what happens to the prisoners once we're released and get a little little story going there so overall first impressions are good nothing really sticks out to say yeah this is this is terrible um but you know the when the rubber meets the road i'm sure if there's any problems then we'll see that and i will of course speak on it as i said at the start of the video this is a sponsored video but my thoughts and feelings um are not barred behind anything pardon the pun um <laughs> It's uh, something that I want to be 100% transparent on. They were interested in sponsoring the video and they have done that. That's from Paradox. Uh, there are links in the description which are affiliate links, so by all means check those out. If you are checking this video out close to release, then the game is on sale. And again, links will be in the description so you can check that out as well. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this video and hopefully it's been an informative look at the Second Chances DLC and the Pan Update. If you have any suggestions on what we could use all of these options with in terms of previous builds or or more really new builds because this is going to serve as a bit of a prelude to a new series then what would you like to see would you like to see a fully reform one quite high on say the extra sentences do you want to pay them very well based on you know how good they work you know, what sort of angle would you want to go It'd be nice to hear your thoughts on that one we're certainly going to be doing things like the animal therapy and the uh, pr former prisoner consultation because those seem really interesting to me and obviously three strokes program etc either way hope you have enjoyed it let me know in the comments what you think and as always we'll go from there thank you very much for watching take care and generic partings